Hey y'all, Toad here. Wow, well, it's been a while since I've made a video for uh, No Toad's Bard, and uh, there's a lot going on. But this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, this Christopher Dorner. Uh, man, you know, I saw the news break um, when I was on the road, and, you know, I heard about his manifesto, his alleged crimes, and his background and everything, and something just didn't quite sit right with what I was hearing and what little they talked about his background and from what I understand this is a gentleman with a pretty decent background um, not a uh, not the kind of background you would expect from somebody ac accused of some pretty horrendous crimes now I want to say right off the bat let me make this really clear I do not in any way shape or form condone what Mr. Dorner is doing all right, so any of you who think that, you know, climb on the fuck off train right now, because that's not that's not what this is about. But I have to admit, you know, one of the things, one of the reasons I don't try and break news, you know, breaking news, I, I don't I don't do that on this channel, is I try and sit back and and wait and watch a little bit, because I think if you try and do the breaking news thing, you're no better than the horrors of the media, who are so worried about getting being the first to say something that uh, let's just say that. Uh, Maybe accuracy isn't exactly, uh, it doesn't go uncompromised. Let's just put it that way. So I decided to wait till I got back to the house and sit and read uh, as much as I could up to this point. And I just got done reading his manifesto. Now, if you watch one of the mainstream media places, they, of course, uh, pick and choose pieces out of the manifesto to make whatever point they're trying to make on camera. Well, I just took the time to read the entire thing and uh, in spite of myself I was actually somewhat impressed uh, this is obviously an angry individual no doubt about it this is an individual who thinks and believes right down to his soul that he was wronged by the uh, Los Angeles County Police Department excuse me Los Angeles Police Department the LAPD just leave it at that and from what I can gather out of the manifesto is that as uh, uh, while you know he's, he's ex-navy and if I, I saw some photographs and I thought it looked like I was seeing uh, lieutenant's bars I could be wrong so he's a naval officer and then became a, uh, a probationary officer in the LAPD um, while he was I guess he was probably uh, finished with active duty was in Naval Reserve and while he was uh, a probationary officer there was an arrest made and his training officer allegedly kicked the uh, suspect um, when the suspect was no threat whatsoever about the head and chest face area and this man uh, Mr. Dorner reported that the training officer had done that along the way evidently there were some other situations where Mr. Dorner had overheard uh, racial, basically cops calling people niggers, um, and called him on it, including up to the point where you know he actually thought about shooting one of the other cops because of using that word. Now, Mr. Dorner is, of course, black. So, I guess he reported his training officer, and I guess his attitude towards the other police officers who are using these these racial epithets or whatever you want to you using basically using the word nigger kind of all together led up to him after finishing his probationary period and actually becoming a police officer they they fired him and he believes he got fired because he was speaking out against other officers he also seems to believe that because of the situation, the firing and why and all that, it also caused him, caused him to, to finish early his naval career. And, you know, again, I don't condone anything what he's doing. And, you know, in reading, you know, reading along the, uh, the manifesto, they like to call the manifesto he wrote, um... He makes it pretty clear that he's not trying to do anything more than call attention to what happened to him. Uh, that was the part of the, uh, the, the manifesto that, that interested me the most, is that 
there was a certain uh, there's there a, a sounded like a certain honesty towards the end of it where he was just basically saying look you know i have the training i have the uh, ability and i have the determination to carry out a guerrilla warfare um situation against police officers and he goes on and tells what kind of police officers why blah 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 and then all he asks for and i don't think he quite said he would stop if this happened but that's the the tone i got from it was that all he's asking is for everything that he was accused of to be looked into and the quote unquote truth to come out now the thing that bothers me about this the most is that when you do some research into Mr. Dorner's character and history there just doesn't appear to be any any other signs you know he's not uh you know an, a, an islamist like the the Fort Hood shooter you know the the military just does not as a habit produce angry people like this um there's nothing that I can find in his history that really leads towards this type of behavior. So I think this case bears watching. Now again, I'm not rooting for Mr. Dorner. I am not in any, any way straight. I would just really, really like Mr. Dorner to be able to turn himself in, not hurt anybody else. But I would be lying if I didn't say... I also think that the LAPD should, in fact, allow an outside agency to come in and check out Mr. Dorner's story. Because, you know, a lot of times, not everything is exactly the way it should be. And while I can't agree with Mr. Dorner's actions, I'm certainly curious to find out the truth of his motivations.